Hello, hello, hello! It's Monty, I'm back, and I'm playing more Train Fever, of course. And this time, we're back in the hard series. It's hard times. Now, it's only 1869. I've been bringing you guys back about every 10 years. Now, this is what I'm excited about. Look at the bank. Look at that. Look at that green. 864K, right? Maybe we should pay off some loans. Oh, wait! Monty already did! Loans paid off. We're debt free. We're, it's good to go, man. So here's what we got going on. I finally got some money in the bank. I wanted to save a little bit of it up so I actually have some things to do while I bring you in here. So this guy, who we were just watching, boom, boom, boom. This is our big line, too. We know this one as our our town-to-town -town loop, right? So this is going to be our B and H, B and H to where? What is it called? What is it called? Way down here. Now, I've checked it. I'm not losing any of the passengers. The frequency is now fast enough. I have quite a few trains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten trains, that's what I thought. But I'm making 200K. It's it's uh, it's working out all right. What? Bro. B&H to bro. Okay. We'll keep that. Bro. Bro, keep it all caps, keep it clean. So that's working out. Now I added a little bus loop in here. So I wanted to get some city bus loops. These guys are doing good as well. They're making me some money. That'd be this uh, line three and four. Look at that, do 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 do. I only got two on each, but it's working. And you can see there's already, there's still 53 people waiting. That is gonna be the problem, is because the more and more the people are waiting, the more and more that that frequency is going to hurt, and these guys are going to start disappearing on this trek. My hope here is I'm going to get some other train lines. Oh, you probably just heard my dog flapper ears. But I, I've got to get better vehicles, get into the future. So let's take this almost one million that we have sitting here and stop wasting money up here. Here's what I've done. Dereham. We're going to connect it to B&H. Not just buy carriages for goods like I have hooked up now. We're going to hook up a train. This is train fever after all, right? Right. Let's get it going. Now, I did three tracks. The reason I did three tracks is I'm going to have a line going to B&H. I'm going to have a line going to uh, COG and MADE at some point. So we'll have lines, and everyone will have a dedicated slot on the station. And I made sure to move the station far enough away from this road so I can have these guys, for example. I wanted these to go out. And then this guy to maybe be able to go in close and then cross the road just so they can cross the road all at the same point or it won't work. Because I can't have this gap here in the road between the tracks. It'll say not enough room. So I will tackle that when I tackle that. What I'm thinking now is where do I put the station for B&H? I mean, I want to make sure we go passenger. We'll go with the nice new standard station. You know, I mean, I should stick it by, should I stick by the residence up here? Ooh, maybe right across the bridge, something something like, something different, something over here. Totally unplanned out ahead of time. Sorry about this, guys. Maybe, just maybe. We'll just wing it. Let's just try that. And wow, really? This is going to be my main train hub, so we will change that later. We'll, we'll twerk it. We'll get all twerky. That's not what twerking is, but we don't need to go into that. Okay, so this is just a simple train line that's just going to get us to here for now. We will rework that station later. Now, do we want to go on the outside platform? Why not? Now, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to zoom all the way out and do like a big connection tunnel thing because it's 1.61 million, okay? It's good to see that that's going to cost 1.61 million. So let's see what this is going to cost total, all right? Start doing the math because I am horrible at it. But I'm going to do short paths that don't dig into the ground, that don't create bridges. Just a nice, clean trek. See, they're all about 20K, 30K, 20K. We're at about 60 to 70K now. Ooh, ooh, oh no, big money. We've spent about 100K. Oh, that was a bridge. That's what I said I'm not going to do. All right, that's going. Let's get a nice... See, look at that. See how much it raises the ground up? Let me zoom in. That's where all the money's going. So all you got to do is just go, or let's see, if we hit that, no, it doesn't help it there. But we just got to go here, hit that, and it tries to keep it even with the ground. So we have to dip it down first, like that. Now, whoop, 
now we're good. We're better, at least. Now let's go for one of these. No, no, we got to get across here first, huh? Collision with the terrain. Oh wow, look, it's colliding with this guy, huh? How is that happening? I'm gonna have to go way out here. See, change of plans. And I lost my 120. I had a little 96. Look at that curve. That's crazy. Uh, oh, thank you for only making me delete that chunk. All right. Well, it ain't 120, but it works. So there we have it. We got our line. Let's go new lines. You can see everything I've got. Pretty much a green board. I'm happy with that. I mean, who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be psyched about that? All right, sweet. I looked over and realized I, I use open broadcaster system to record and I had the game overlaid on top of my cam and icon so hey now you can see me here I am alright well you know you can't see me every episode sometimes you just gotta listen to my my crazy self alright well new line back to where we are train to train and then remind me guys I gotta put some buses here I got the loops but I didn't put the buses so actually we'll go up here and we'll do this let's get our depot just click it onto the end we'll move it later Boom. And then let's get a one for our cars right here. A depot depot. Look at that. We'll go like that. Have them like right behind each other. Because we can. And I also want to add a stop here and here and here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now, 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 now. We can close that and click on line eight and click on line nine. Now line nine goes one, two. So after 14, I want to add a station here. Wham. Now nine, I want to add a station one, two, between one and two. You're gonna go one, two, three. Okay. Those two are fixed. Now it's by road vehicles. Let's buy three. Uh three. Ah. Set line. I'll go to line nine. Except you, you're gonna go to line eight. You see what I did? I set everyone to one line and then I'm slowly switching some back. All right, so I need to buy more. Oh, sorry, I'm paused. Here we go, let's play that again. Buy road vehicles, let's buy three. So these I'm doing three, usually I do two. Uh, and I realized I just bought one extra because I just bought three, but I bought four the first time and then moved one over. So one of those guys has an extra, but I do realize that. Now, what kind of train do we want to start with? The Iron Horse? Ignore it. It doesn't exist. It's a, it's, it's a mod, and it's too cheap for this series. Uh, we're going to have to go with the, the defaults, which is the Borsig, or the old Spanish guy, which 40, 45, 120 versus 150. Lifespan is both 30 years. This guy's got that power and that speed. So since he's all by himself, I like using this guy, and we can only use him for eight more years. We can only buy him for eight more years. But, uh, Borsig. And we're going to go with this guy here. We can do the six. Now, we already have upgrades to the eight. Again, we're going to ignore this iron horse that can do 20. Uh, so we're going to look at these. Running cost 16, 19. Mm, not enough money. I'm broke. So I got one, and I don't want to take a loan out. So hopefully... How much were these? 54. Okay, I'll get another one of those. I want to at least put two. I'd like three. Come on. Come on. One more K. One more K and I'm good. One more K. Oh, almost one K. Almost one K. Now these guys are costing me money. There we go. Okay, set line. Line two. Whew. Train. Train fever a go. Now we've got two cities with bus loops, train stations. We've got goods cooking. Now, I'm going to go around fixing my other cities. For example, let's bring up our goods, our cargo. I always call it goods. I got a little something here. Now, this, was doing, this wasn't doing anything. It was actually too far apart, but I had oil production here, which is our oil refinery, and I had this oil well up here. Now, all I did, instead of putting something all the way up here, I just put something right here, a little station here, and a little station here. So the oil is being automatically transported from here to here, boop, 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 through the town. And then, but my trucks are only doing a little small loop. I only had so much money and I didn't want the trucks going too far. So here it is. They're making money off the oil and the goods. I mean, what is this line? Let's go uh, visible only. 
and all lines here. This is line six, that's why it's hard to see. It's the same color as the road. It's making me 50K with six cars on it. So you click on each individual car and see how these are doing. See, this is how you can see that you're actually starting to lose money on some of these, right? Because just because you're overall making big money on the top end, doesn't mean you're making money on all of these. So I got a lot of them in here too, but I've got some guys that are making a lot of money. Just they haven't really started really grinding their gears. But I'm going to keep working on things like this. I've got goods going here and then, or sorry, goods going here and then the materials, raw materials there. Up here, I don't know. I mean, you guys are playing along. Where have you hit your biggest struggle on this map? I mean, there's definitely some towns that I'm going to have to bring goods from far away. Or I'm going to have to figure out how to get resources up here. Like here, I need... I need a lumber mill, which is all the way down here. That's the closest one, the one I'm using. So instead of bringing this wood down, I would just probably bring these goods up. Now I got oil, but I don't have oil anywhere around. I've got iron and ore, but no steel mill, except this one all the way down here. And this one's already half working. Oh, okay. So I could bring ore here under the mountain get these goods, these goods will start filling up Watton, and then I can bring the goods back. Because I hate just sending a train, or even a truck, a long distance to do one thing and not bring something back. So I could bring ore that way and goods back. Those trains do, or those trucks do hold both materials, so that's good. This I'm doing a halvesy as well, like I just put a stop here and here. Okay, and what these stops are doing like this is the oil's going here and stopping, and the goods are going here and stopping, and the trucks just bring the oil up here and bring the goods back. And as you can see, I don't have enough trucks. I, it's still a lot of goods moving on their own, but hey, I'm making money off of it. I'm making money, and we're in the, a slight, a slight, slight green. Let's make sure. Let's look at our board. Oh, the train's losing money as it, as it will, as it will for a while. Now, there's a few things we can do to kind of help remedy this early on. Let's get a few more attachments. And we're going to have to build a bus line out here. I mean, look at that. That's just out here in the cold, in the open. i got to pause right quick. Don't have the money. All right. I'm going to unpause right quick. <laughs> yep, not enough space, not enough money. Oh, oh. There we go. It's only 11K. I want to get some things connected up to this train. And then... Trying to really, trying to really work the the loop here, the roads. Ooh, 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 look at that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now I can have a bus loop here. Yes, yes, it shall be done. B and H will get a bus loop to the train. No, I'll even do some bridges up here eventually. Make it all cool looking. It's gonna be sweet, guys. Here we are. This has been episode four, man. We're doing good. We're trucking along. We're now training along. Let's go check him. Let's go check him. Come on. Look at him. He's, he's 24. 24 pa uh, possible passengers. Pop it about hoop it about. Which it will jack up. It'll get up there, man. We'll do okay. Right now it just started. This is why I wanted to have some money in the bank and know I'm making some profits. Uh, oh, I never noticed if you mouse over that, it gives you the exact money value. 159,200 dollarunos. Here you go. We got one person. The executive is about to go on his train line. This is the CEO of, of Monte Rico Games. This is my own character is actually getting on the train to go for a ride. Okay, that's asking a bit much, but it is, it looks like he's gonna take the solo trek down to B&A. Once we get these things going, we got a lot that's starting to lose us money. Usually that's what it is. All the new growth, all the new lines, they're hurting. But we will prevail in the end, and hopefully I will survive another 10 years, and I will bring you back in 1880. Send me some of uh, those photos and comments more on what you guys are doing in this region. I know you guys, some of you are playing with this map seed. I'd like to see it. Keep it coming. All the comments are great. Lots of cool tips. Lots of good ideas. I didn't get to cover so many this episode because I actually had some things to do. But I'll probably have episodes as well where I'm just kind of following these trains around and seeing what's happening and hopefully everything's all good these two productions we can see they're 25 out of 50 they upgraded that's nice i'm gonna take a sip of my coffee bid you guys adieu thanks for watching and i'll see you next episode we'll get it started right up soon 
don't forget to check out that train fever giveaway. We got, what, like five or six days left? All right, peace out. Thanks for watching.